You're not doing this tonight. Come on, you're not doing this tonight. Please. Please. I don't know. No, just let me cry. Let me cry. What is this? I'm tired. I, I am tired of all this. I, I don't know why. Why can't I conceive again? My love, listen to me. I'm complaining. You're not complaining, Anna, because you don't want to make me feel bad. You know. You know it, Adam. You, you know it. You know that deep down, somewhere inside of you, you want another child. Baby, even if that is true, there's nothing we can do. We will have a child at God's appointed time. When? At God's appointed time? When is God's appointed time? When I'm too old to carry my own child? Baby, don't talk like that. I'm the one to give you a child. It's not on you alone. And I'm the one to get pregnant. I'm the one to get pregnant. Okay. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I don't know, I don't know. Okay. I don't know, nothing is wrong with you, I don't know. Okay. 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 I don't know, nothing is wrong with you, I don't know, there's a problem, there's a problem, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. Good morning, sweetie. So, what's the occasion? Oh, there's no occasion, sweetheart. I'm only making breakfast for the two most beautiful women in the world. Hmm? So, Paul, why is mom not helping today? Oh, well, I just want mom to rest. I envy mom a lot. I wish I'll marry a man like you someday. Mirabelle! What? You're too young to be talking about marriage, okay? I'm a big girl. You're not a big girl. Now go get the table set. I'm a big girl. And you don't fix in the dining table. <laughs> Face away from that bed and come on to me because I've got something special for you. Hmm? Good morning, baby. Good morning, my sunshine. When did you get up? Early enough to make sure that the most beautiful woman gets breakfast served by the time she wakes up. Hmm? Why are you so sweet? Oh, well. What can I say? I have an obligation to make sure that this most beautiful woman is always happy so I don't lose her. What did you make? Why don't you come downstairs and find out? Yeah. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Come on. All right, babe. I'll join you shortly. Let me at least brush my teeth. Okay, let me go yeah. make sure that everything stays perfect for you. I'll be right back. All right, darling. Oh, you come down right now. I will. Thank you, baby. <sighs> So, Doctor, what is the result this time? Mrs. Jane, I've told you countless times. There is nothing wrong with you medically. You're perfectly fine. And why can't I conceive again? These things happen, my dear. It happens. It's a natural thing that sometimes pregnancy can be delayed for sometimes no reason at all. I'm a practitioner, a medical practitioner. I'm not supposed to be saying this, but I have to tell you, you're my friend. You people are like family to me. God does things his own way. Nobody questions him. He has a reason for everything he is doing. And I know that at the appointed time, God is going to give you your own children, more, more of them. Doctor, Doctor, when? When is this time? The time is as soon as we start doing the right thing, which is cutting down your weight. Let's start from that place. 
let's do the things that we, are, we can do as human beings and leave the rest for God. Okay? Thank you, Doctor. Thank You're you welcome. so much. You're welcome. I should be on my way now. Yeah, sure. Um, please don't forget to tell your husband about this. He's really going to be of a great support to you in this journey. Oh, no, no, no. Um, doctor, please. I, I don't want my husband involved in any of this. I, I don't want him bothered at all. No, no. See, you see, in this kind of issues, um, it's, it's the couple's thing. It's not an individual thing. He has to support you. He has to know the whole steps that you're taking. Okay? And I believe that at the appointed time of God, all of us will gather and we celebrate. Okay? Relax. All you just need to do is calm down. Because sometimes anxiousness can even make you not to take in. Yes. Just the way it makes people to feel that they are pregnant, even when they are not. So relax yourself. I know that very soon we'll come and uh, drink some hot water. <laughs> you know, thank God your husband knows what I like to eat. Hmm? Okay. So relax yourself. Calm Thank down. You. Thank you so Don't much. Don't say me well to him, okay? Yes, he will. All right. Thank All you, right. sir. Take care of yourself. Yes, I will. All right. Yes, bye. Yeah. Baby, are you sure that everything is okay? You've been quiet since I got back. Yes, baby, I'm fine. Everything is fine. Ah, okay. That's good. How is my baby doing? Hmm? I'm alright. Guess what? What? I miss you. I miss you more. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why don't you come and play with Zaz? Show me the grey hair on your head that makes uh, you that. Come, come and play with Zaz. I have spiritual grey hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where is the grey hair? I don't see anyone. I have spiritual grey hair. That's spiritual. How spiritual is it? Just come and make Zazie happy. <laughs> come and make Zazie happy, huh? Hmm? Hmm. Why are you always this sweet? Oh, I just say I'm the luckiest man in the world. <laughs> Wondering 
how you care about me so much. I should be the one saying thank you. Thank you for everything. I feel so blessed. I'm so grateful to God. I think you're the greatest gift I've ever had. And I'm so grateful. I would always, always cherish you. What is it? Oh. Uh, I need to take this baby. I'll be back. Turned into a, a little little child, yeah? Uh -huh, because of you. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you more. But that's why I'm here. Uh -huh. Why are you here? You should be past nine. You should be in the office. I came to take some after all that steamy pictures you sent to me in the morning. Oh, okay, now mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. But you could have waited until you're back from work. Maybe. What's the time? It's past my breakfast and I haven't had some. So you're here to have yeah. breakfast? Oh, well, it's going to be a quickie. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, you smell it. Oh, you smell really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's... Hey, my G. My guy. How you doing, brother? Papa, no. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're smiling, eh? <laughs> no, you don't tell me. It's evident that Jane was really amazing through the night. <laughs> I wish that was the case. So what can I have you smiling from cheek to cheek like this? The real question should be, who else? Who else? Tell me I'm all ears. I'm always that lazy girl though. That girl on the show knows how to keep a man. Brother. Mm. Bro. I have warned you countless times to stay away from that easy girl. That girl is not healthy for your marriage, my friend. Guy, what is wrong with you now? Why are you talking about my woman like that? Because I am your friend and I'll tell you the truth. Stay away from that girl. You are inviting Doom into your home. <laughs> Consume me with that pizza, my guy. Guy, you know the problem here is that you don't even know Lizzie and you always talk ill about her. I don't need to know her to know her motives, guy. And, and judging by everything you've told me, it's safe to say that she wants you for keeps. I see. And what is wrong with that? So you are <laughs> married with a child, guy. Stay away from that girl so you don't complicate issues in your family. I'm not complicating anything, bro. I'm just having fun like every other married man in the world. Well, except for you, of course. Every other married man in the world. I'm just having fun. So, so, it makes me less of a man. Guys, stay away from that girl. Just where's the ENA um, files? Yeah, this one. This one. All right. Put you my own. Stay away from that girl, though, my guy. It's painful how he sits comfortably in front of me and eats when everything he tells me is a lie. Baby. Baby. Hey. Yes. Yes, babe. You've been playing with your food. What's wrong? Nothing. Come on. You can't tell me nothing. Spit out. What is it? Tell me. Babe. It's nothing, okay? Yeah, I, I, I was just thinking about you. And I, I, I don't know what I did to deserve you. <laughs> Baby. Yes? You know you're my goddess. And I'm blessed today that we cross paths. 
No, I love you very much. I appreciate you so much. Hmm? Gosh, what have I done to deserve being like to? <gasps> hey, uh, baby, can you just get me a glass of juice? The one in the fridge. Hmm? Okay. Um, just give me a minute. All right, hurry up now. I'm missing you already. <laughs> You know, I love you, baby. I love you, too. <laughs> oh. Oh. There you go, baby. Hey, thank you, baby. Yes. By the way, Mirabel, are you sure she's okay? Yeah. Yeah, she's fine. She's yeah. all right. It's surprising to see her sleep so early. It's unlike her. Yeah, but she's all right. I mean, she was with me all evening. We played, laughed, and yeah, just joked around. She's fine. Okay. It's just strange because um, she's not the type to miss her dinner, especially with Papa. <sighs> Did you check her temperature to make sure she's okay? Babe, Mirabel is fine. Okay. Okay. You'll see when she wakes up. Okay, Stop okay. bothering your head. I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> That's fine. Besides, I'm glad she's asleep so early. At least we will have more time to ourselves. Huh? <laughs> yeah. You know me like that. <laughs> well, I think you're the most beautiful man I've ever seen. You think? Mm, okay, I know. <laughs> Baby. It's my wife. Seriously. I don't know why she's calling. I need to find out. Well, if there's a problem, she should just text you. My wife never texts me. She prefers to call. <laughs> why are you trying so hard to make me angry now? Why? What did I do now? Must you always remind me that I'm your mistress? Why? Like, why do you keep referring to her as your wife in my presence? Okay, I'm sorry. That's not what I'm trying to do. Okay? She's my wife. And only because I met her before I met you, I married her. Before I met you. Okay, but my heart belongs to you. It is you I yearn for. Yes, she's my wife. Doesn't mean I love you less. Yeah, if you love me, you say it like you mean it. I love you. Say it again. <laughs> I 
I really need to pick this call. Oh, no, 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 not in this house. He's not even taking my calls. I am sure he's with that woman. You better take this call. You better take this call this time. to see a movie. Oh, that's that's wonderful. I hope you guys had fun. Baby. What happened? I'm so sorry. I I was in a meeting. I called you over and over again. I know, I know. I was in a meeting and uh, I couldn't pick up. You know how it is. a movie and after that we went to the supermarket and I got you this. Oh, oh. thank you, sweetie. I'm so thoughtful of you. Hmm? It's time for your bedtime. Let's go. Hello, good morning. My name is Jane O'Hene. I'm Adam's wife. I'm listening. I'm calling you because I'm very much aware of the illicit affair you're having with my husband. And that's the reason I'm calling you. So, shouldn't you be talking to your husband instead? Listen. I did not call you to answer your questions, you chip thing. The reason I'm calling you is because I want you to stay very far away from my husband. Okay? Or else what? Now what are you going to do? I dare you would not want to dare me. Okay? You would not. You know what? I am stuck with Adams. If you had called and sounded more polite, maybe I would have considered letting him. But since you're making this about right, I'll let you know that it is a man who decides who to be with. Listen, I want... Hello? This chip slot hung up on me. She hung up on me. 
Oh, that was amazing. I know, right? That was too, too good. <laughs> That was just something else. How do you do it? Do what? How do you make every experience better than the last? <laughs> hmm. I learn new tricks just oh. to excite you. Oh, you learn new tricks just to excite me, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you better keep racking up those skills because that's exactly what brings me back to you all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I sure will. Okay? <laughs> Just for you. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Where are you headed to? The bathroom. Wait, wait. Why do you always wash up after every time we do it? Um, to stay fresh for the next one. Woohoo! <laughs> I see. tricks I learned. I see, I see. Okay. One of the tricks I learned to excite you. I see. Well, you better hurry up because I'm ready for another one. Okay. Be back. I'm all fired up for the next <laughs> one, baby. I'm coming. work today, baby. Mm, it was good. It mm. was productive. I was able to seal a deal I've been pursuing for most of you. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's good news. It's good news. I mean, we should celebrate. Well, you just came back looking like nothing interesting happened today. Let me go and get a bottle of wine so we can properly celebrate this. No, 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 no. Babe, babe, come on, relax. There are other ways to celebrate this. We don't need all that. Other what ways. do you mean other ways? Other ways. Come why on. are you naughty? You know, that's the reason why you love me so much. <laughs> 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 well, other ways, baby. What is it? <sighs> are, you, are you not going to take that? That's why we have missed calls. I called that woman. Why would you do that? Do you think it's the best way to go about the situation? Zinni, I, I don't I don't know why. I I don't know why Adam will not come clean and, and tell me that he's cheating on me. I know I asked you to get your man back, but I didn't ask you to make a fool out of yourself. You think I'm making a fool of myself? Destiny, do you think Nigerian girls are like those girls who, who live abroad or who stay abroad? But you talk to them once, they are scared? No. They are not. Sis, just be wise about your moves. I'm going to do everything possible to keep my man. Have you told your husband what the doctor said about you not getting pregnant? I mean, he seems so uninterested since our last visit to the doctor. Try and tell him. Maybe that's why he's cheating on you. I don't know what to do. I swear, Destiny, I don't know what to do. So this is how you allow this lazy of a girl crash your home? Bro. 
Listen, I'm so famished. Can we go get something to eat? Can you just, can you just stop at my home? And remind me again, why are you with this lazy girl? I like Lizzie. Okay, she, she, she's nice, she's good. She's, she's homely, she's intelligent, she's sweet. You know what I mean? Remember, is that the same thing you said about Jane before marrying her? Well, Lizzie is different and Jane has changed. She's not the same woman I used to marry. I mean, she's changed, everything has changed. She's put on some weight, she's, uh, her performance, you know, everything has changed. So uh, have you tried to speak to her about it, about these changes? About why you're no longer attracted to her? Why would I do that? Do I tell Lizzie how to make a man happy, how to attract a man? Why, would she, why should I tell the same thing to, to, to Jane? She's supposed to know how to do these things. First off, your wife and Lizzie isn't the same age. And have you, have you, have you stopped to ask yourself what her motives are? What decent girl would comfortably date a married man? Isn't that supposed to be a red flag? Lizzie is decent. She's only with me because she loves me and she has repeatedly said that. Adam, you have to stay away from this girl. I told you. Edward, can we just get this conversation and go get something to eat, please? Jane called. Who is Jane? Adam's wife. She called to warn me to stay away from her husband. Can you imagine? Lizzie, you will not kill me. Lizzie, you have mind, though. How? You have mind. I've told you countless times to let this man go. Let him go. There are a dozen men out there who are willing to do anything for you. Why do you find it interesting to drag another woman's husband? What stupid dozen of men are you talking about? The ones who used and abandoned me over the years? Come on, Lizzie, there are two good men out there. Are you referring to Mike? Chinedu or Obino? Listen, the only good man out there is Adams. And I am keeping him to myself. That is when he must have sent that woman away. What? Lizzie, don't, don't even tell me you are planning to make him chase his wife away. Why not? Listen, I have no plan of sharing my man with another woman. I have no plan. Lizzie, you told me this man has a child, right? Uh-huh. So you want to separate the parents? Well, she can stay with the father, I don't care. So long as she doesn't interfere in my business, then we are good. Can you hear yourself? Perfectly. No, 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 no. Lizzie, can you understand what you're saying? Oh, what is wrong with you? Oh, wh whose side are you on? I'm on the side of truth. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Angel. Mm -hmm. See, madam, no, they judge me. I don't like nonsense. Which can you tell me that one? I will not just no, it's not about good. this. No, it's not good. Don't, it's not don't, good. don't start. It's not good. Please, don't judge no me. No problem. Don't even start. No don't problem. I don't judge you. Yeah. Wow, you look smashing. I hope you slept well. Do not patronize me. Baby. Adams. You were with her for two nights. That was why you refused to take my calls and then switched off your phones. Good right? morning, first now. Good morning. I hope you slept peacefully and woke up more beautiful. I think you did, I can tell. Why weren't you picking my calls? Baby, come on. You were with her, right? Yes, I was with her and my daughter. I couldn't pick up your calls because my daughter was in front of her mom. It would be disrespectful, okay? So it's not disrespectful that you ignored my own calls? Really? Huh? Maybe we've had this conversation many times. I told you, do not call me while I'm with my family, especially in the evening. We've had this conversation many times, except it's an emergency. What makes you think last night wasn't an emergency? Because you would have texted me. If you oh. noticed that I didn't pick yeah, yeah, of course. You would have texted me if you noticed that I didn't pick up. That's how I know. Baby, I'm sorry. Please, it's too early for this. I promise it won't happen again. 
You promise? I promise. Don't do that again. I won't. Now smile for me. Give me that smile that turns me on. You're yeah, not. <laughs> yeah. mm. Which part? Different. This? Front. Back. Oh. Down. That's it. Center. Okay. <laughs> I really miss you. I'm so sorry this happened to you. I wish you too. I'll make it up to you. Sure. Yes, I promise. I promise. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, baby. Mommy, I want pizza. Uh, okay. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to your room, get ready. Okay, I will call dad to come take us out. <laughs> yes, at least so that you can have your pizza. All right, mommy. All right, baby. And hurry up, okay? Okay. Hey, hey, baby. My world, how's your day? Very well, thank you, baby. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's been a long time you took Mirabelle out. Do you think you can maybe do that this evening? Maybe I would really love to, but I have a meeting scheduled for later today. Okay. It's all right, um... Uh, but um, can you at least order for us? Um, because I actually want to have one too. I will send you the money so you can order. Maybe I need to go now. I was in the middle of a conversation when you called, okay? Okay. It's okay. i speak to you later. Bye. All right, bye. I love you. Daddy will not be joining us today. But why? See, baby, Daddy has a meeting to attend. In fact, that meeting is very important and he must attend. Okay? Mommy, why don't Daddy care about me anymore? Baby, why would you say something like that? It's come, come, come. Oh, huh? It's true. It is not true. Okay? It is not true. Listen, Daddy is busy now, okay? And you know how his job is. It, it can take a toll on him. Okay, so how about we arrange something? You know, a proper outing. Just you, me, and Daddy. What about that? Promise? Because I promise. I know you would like that. Okay. Right? <laughs> Keep up your heart. <laughs> That's my girl. So, let's get going before the pizza finishes, okay? Mom, mm -hmm. the pizza can't finish. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll see when we get there. <laughs> 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 what is it, my love? Hmm? 
You're supposed to be sleeping now. I couldn't sleep, so I came here so that Daddy could sing for me to sleep. Ah, oh, my angel. Daddy is not back from work yet. Hmm? Remember I told you Daddy was going to be very busy this evening, right? It's already late, and Daddy doesn't stay at work this late, or... Did he change his job? No, 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 my love. Daddy didn't change his job. Um, okay. So what about mommy singing you a song to sleep? How about that? I mean, just for today? All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come here. Come and lie with mommy. Oh. Oh, oh, that's my baby girl. Um, so what song would you like mommy to sing for you? Hmm? Uh, okay. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. This is my family. What am I doing? What am I doing? Babe, hey. you're back. Yes, yes. Sorry, my love. It's okay. Why don't you go have a shower, okay, and join us in bed? Hmm? Okay, baby. Welcome, baby. to me. Well, since you've decided not to heed my warnings over the phone, faith has made it possible for me to meet you one and one and talk to you. Who are you? Wow. <laughs> who am I? She doesn't even know the woman whose husband she's sleeping with. Should I remind you with a slap? Yes, I mean, that would be better. But no, Jane, you cannot do that, Jane, because you are bigger than this. You're bigger than her. The next time I will be saying this to you, I promise you, young lady, I will not be this nice. Stay away from my husband. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I've tolerated this nonsense enough. Woman. I don't remember promising you forever love. Oh, was I the one that took those vows with you on the altar? Listen, if you're having a problem in your marriage, I advise you go and meet your husband and sort it out. I do not have business with you, okay? Are you all right? Are you all right? What gives you the temerity to talk to me in such manner? Oh. Because you think we share the same man, you feel you can talk to me whichever way you like? Listen to me. And I said this earlier, I will say it again. But I promise you, the very next time you will see me, young woman, I will not be this nice. Stay away from my husband. Stay away, and I mean every word of it. Because the next time I see you, you would pee in your pants. Yeah. 
I would like to see you try rubbish. Hi, baby. My angel. Where are you? I made your favorite. Hope you're coming. I practically spent the whole day with you yesterday, so today's for my wife. Oh, that's not fair, baby. I made your favorite. Babe, don't worry, tomorrow. So, what will happen to the food I made? Baby, I'm already on my way, okay? I can't come back. Don't worry, first thing tomorrow, I will be at your gate. I love you. Hello? You hung up. Adams. He ended the call on me because of that thing. No problem. You will still come and meet me here. For dinner. Mm, he will be joining us, baby. Are you sure? Yes, baby. Daddy will be joining us for dinner, okay? Okay. Oh, my babies. Oh, yeah, you see? I'm so sorry. I was Hi. stuck in traffic. that the most important thing is that you're here. His sorry suddenly feels so fake. Mommy. Baby. Yes, yes. Hi, babe. What's wrong? Are you all right? Uh, yeah, it's nothing. I'm... Hey, what is it? I'm okay, darling. I'm fine, I promise. Mom. Yes, my love. I called you twice. It seems like you're lost in thoughts. I'm here with you, okay? All right, baby. Okay. All right, baby. How was work today? Yeah, it was okay. Just tired, lots of traffic. You sure you're okay? Can we eat now? Yes, baby, let's eat. Yes, please. Uh, okay, on second thoughts, I think I need to change my clothes. I'll be right back. Okay. Broken hearts, broken dreams, it's all I have, it's all I have. Shattered hope, shattered trust, it's all I have, it's all I have. What will I ever do? To make you love me the way I love you. What will I ever do? To make you love me the way I love you. Promises you break. My heart you turn to pieces. But I'm ready to refuse again. I've served you breakfast. Thank you so much, sweetie. I'll be down in a bit. I'm almost done. All right. Okay. Babe. What? Um, there's something I would really love to talk to you about. And what is it? 
My second appointment with the doctor is today. And I was hoping you could just come with me. At least today, just one time. Baby, listen, I don't think I can do this, okay? We have Mirabel, and she's enough. I don't need this. Not right now. Hey, all I'm just asking is that you come just once, okay? Listen, once. baby, you know how I do not like this whole idea of going to the doctor, talking to them about how we can give birth to another child. You know how much I don't like this. You know this. I know you don't, okay, but I'm just begging you, okay? I, I, I'm just asking you, please, baby. Baby, baby, okay, I have a very busy schedule today, very tight. Can we do this some other time? Adam, I'm begging you. Jane, it's too early for this, please. I need to go to work. Compensation for not coming to eat the food I made for you yesterday. Hey, you know, I can just leave my family and spend endless nights with you. You know that. How about I plan a business trip and we can spend all that time together? Just you and I. Hmm? Oh, not bad. Well, baby, I'm already tired of this whole hide and seek. Oh, you're tired of this whole hide and seek? Yeah. I'm so sorry. It's, we've been together for like two years. Okay, more than two years and we're still here. Same spot. No, I love you very much. Mm -hmm. You're probably the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. But let's not forget why we are here, okay? Let's not forget that the reason why we're here is because my dear wife couldn't give me a child, specifically a male child. But you, on the other hand, came into the beautiful picture and we are still here many years later. Hmm? And this is a decision that I am honestly reconsidering because we don't have any kids yet. What are you saying? Hmm? I'm just saying let's not forget why we're here. Well, you're trying to make me feel like I'm the reason I lost our babies. No, no. I mean, three miscarriages and you, you, you keep reminding me. Sweetheart, I'm not trying to do any of that. Hey. But you just did. No, 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 no. I'm not. You trying. just reminded Baby, me that. I'm so okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you sure? I'm sorry. I love you very much. I promise. I am not trying to make you upset, but please, I have a family. We can't just destroy everything. I feel we have to be careful. Okay. We're gonna have a special time together, you and I. I promise. You promise? Yes. For now. Okay. We we'll have to be careful. So I will go home. And then we're gonna make plans and meet. Okay. Oh. It's going to be special. I don't want to be looking at me like that. <laughs> mm. Alright, baby. Good night. I love you. I love you more. Hey. I miss you. You see me already. I miss you too. Okay. I know you can't get enough of me, but. Mm. It's part of those things. Huh? Mm. You can always get what we want now, dude. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you want to go now? <laughs> Are you sure you want to go? I love you, baby. I love you more. I refuse to be a mistress forever. If he wants me, he must do the right thing first. Else, nothing. I mean, nothing for you, Adams. I am not that foolish. Oh, you don't want a second wife, but you want a child from another woman. <laughs> if it was that easy, why didn't your barren wife give you the child? Rubbish.
Okay, then. Are you alright? Baby. Hey. I'm not fine, Adam. What is it? I went to see the doctor today. Okay? And the doctor literally scolded me for not coming to the session with you. Why don't you want to follow me to the doctor? Jane. Is there something you're hiding, Adam? Jane, please. It's late. It's been a stressful day. I'm tired. And I don't want to argue with you tonight. I'm not arguing with you, Adam. I only asked you a question. Is there something you are hiding? That's all. Oh, my God. Jane. You want an answer? Then look onto Mirabel. She's your answer. Except you're trying to tell me she's not mine. Otherwise, that is your answer. I'm going to bed. Good night. Hey, baby. Morning. Don't we have any breakfast this morning? We're still in bed. Baby. Baby, come on. Baby. I'm sorry for yelling at you yesterday. I'm sorry for lashing out. I shouldn't have. The truth is, a lot has been going on at work and I've been so stressed out and it's taking a toll on me. I shouldn't have and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my love. Does that mean that you would go with me to see the doctor? Oh, okay. If I said yes, would that change your mood? Mm-hmm. I would change your mood. Of course it will. Okay, so when do we go? My next appointment is in two weeks. Then it is two weeks. Can I get a quickie this morning before I leave? Uh, that will also wait till two weeks. But if you want it now, then one condition. <laughs> Okay, what is your condition? That you set me breakfast in bed for two weeks. Okay. And Mirabel and I will have two date nights with you. <laughs> What's he? You know what, I think this uh, breakfast in bed in two weeks is uh, it's a walkover. It's too easy. Let's make it three weeks. Breakfast in bed. How about that? How about yeah, I like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, in my next life, uh, I'm still going to get married to Jane. That woman is so sweet. She's too good. You know, sometimes it beats my imagination how you're able to look her in the face and lie to her. <sighs> I told you it's a gradual process. Why are you always reminding me of this? Bro, what are you still doing with that girl? I already told you why I'm with her. You know why I'm with her. So why are you asking me this? Of course I know. But if your wife finds out that you have been cheating on her for two years with this girl, how do you think she'll take it? I'm with Lizzie because I want more children. And my wife is not ready. What more do you want from me? But you said it yourself that she has been going to see the doctor because she wants to conceive again. 
So isn't it clear enough that she wants to have another child? I think it's all pretense, my guy. Because I found some pills in her wardrobe. I took a picture of it. I sent it to my doctor friends and they said they, that they are pregnancy prevention pills. I think she's just doing that to make me happy, but she doesn't want any more kids. Wait, I, I am confused. Your wife who has been going to the doctor for her to conceive again is taking pregnancy prevention pills? Yes. <laughs> I don't, that's unbelievable. As unbelievable as it sounds, it's the truth. I saw it myself. Besides, that's the promise I made to Jane when we got married. One child. One child. Uh, have you spoken to her about it? What, what am I supposed to talk to her about? When we get married, we're only having one child, and that's what she has, and I don't think she's ready to have another one. So what am I supposed to discuss with her? She doesn't want to have a child, or probably she's not ready. That's why I'm, I have to do what I have to do and keep Lizzie on the side. I need more children. And I'm not breaking any promises here. Okay? I get to keep my promise to my wife and then I get to have more kids with Lizzie. Promises kept, non broken, on both sides. Wow. Just, just wow. Here's what it is. going to this house, I want you to be in your behavior. Yes, mommy. But I want to stay longer this last time I stay for three days. Okay. It's all right, baby. This break is a long one. So stay for two weeks or even... <laughs> Thank you, mommy. Love you. You too, my angel. Okay, so let's go into my yes. Broken heart, broken dreams. It's all I had. It's all I had. But I hope, but I trust. It's all I have. It's all I have. What will I ever do? Make you love me. Do I love you? What will I ever do? To make you love me. Do I love you? To break I to pieces, but, but I'm ready to build again. Promises you break, my heart turn to pieces, but I'm ready to go again. I had a nice I have to give you. To go get you. Thank you. 
back to me to make you back, back yeah what will i ever do to make you love me the way i love you what will i ever do to make you love me the way i love you Promises you break, my heart you turn to pieces, but I'm ready to rebuild again. Promises you break, my heart you turn to pieces, but I'm ready to go again with you. with you I'm ready to go again with you with you baby baby I'm sorry I'm sorry about what happened. I, I, I know sorry is, will not save me <laughs> for what happened, but I'm really sorry because that's all I have to say. Baby, you know how these things happen. You, you know, I'm, I, I'm I'm really sorry. It, it's, uh, I'm sorry. I, I don't have any excuse. You know, I, I just want to apologize. How long have you been seeing her? Who? Seeing who? Baby, come on. What are you talking about? Seeing who exactly? Baby. You can't possibly be thinking that I would cheat on you. Baby, I've never cheated on you. And I will never cheat on you. Never. Okay, I was at work. I was so busy, I got caught up with work, I got swamped. After that, the boys, you know, you know how it is, they had a game night. It's been a while, so I decided to join them. Things took too long. I got home late and... I'm sorry. Baby, come on. Don't you trust me? you again. In fact, you are so unbelievable. Right, baby, I need to go to work. Listen, I'm sorry about everything, okay? Yes, hi, hi. Destiny, good morning. Hey, I'm all right. How are you? Imagine the lies, Destiny. I mean, what does Adam take me for? The dumbest woman on earth or what? Sis, don't you think it's high time you made him know that you're aware of his affair? You know, I actually wanted us to be alone. Just have some time to herself. That's even the reason I asked Mirabel to go over to her grandma's. But you know, now I don't even know what I want anymore. Destiny, I, I feel so suffocated in my own house. Baby, in all you do, never. 
never let distance set in because it will be the fastest thing that will tear you guys apart. I just don't know. I, I, I don't know what I ever did to Adam to make me, to make him treat me this way. I, I don't know. If it's about the children, I, I know I initially said I, I wanted just one child, but I've long changed my mind and I'm working towards that. I, I've even stopped taking the prevention pills. Prevention pills? Wait, you were using prevention pills? Yes, I was, but... You know, initially we agreed that we would have just one child. So after Mirabelle, every single time we made out, I, I used the pills after. For how long have you been taking it? Five years. Why? Oh my God. Snap the pills and send to me ASAP. All right, all right, I will. But is there a problem, Destiny? Just do what I ask you to do, please. Okay, all right, I will. Like you are. I'm fine. I'm okay. <laughs> I mean, Lizzie does serve you breakfast. Mm -hmm. Oh, if she served me breakfast, that won't be better now. Don't you think? For you to prefer breaking up with Lizzie over this issue, that means it must really be serious. So talk to me. What's in some? I think my wife knows that I'm cheating on her. Yeah, so I was with Lizzie. And, you know, we had a good time. I slept off, woke up in the middle of the night to 20 missed calls. I rushed home, and there I found my wife on the floor, cried herself to sleep. Goodbye. came and I found out that she had already put the house together, made some nice decorations, you know, nice dinner date, the, the kind we used to have when we got married. And I never showed up. Man, that must have really hurt her a lot. It did. And that's not even all. This morning, I tried talking to her, you know. And she didn't say anything. She asked me straight to my face how long I had been cheating on her. So called. Of course I denied it. Told her I'd never cheated on her before. Told her that, hey, <laughs> it's never going to happen. She just looked at me and said, okay. Okay. So she did not believe you? <laughs> Bro, all she did was just said, she said okay and just <laughs> walked away and left me there. Thank you. <laughs> Bro, I think she knows already. She's just waiting for you to open up to her. I don't know, bro. What if I tell her and I find out that she doesn't know? What next? What if she's just messing with me just so I can confess? Do yourself a whole lot of good. Listen, Adams, you have to stay away from that lazy girl and face your family. That girl is no good. That's all I can say at this point, man. Just be careful. Come on, I'm off to launch you. You care to join? No, just going to stay here. Well, uh, I'll see you later. Just 
Hey, sunshine. How are you doing? I've missed you so, so much. I hope grandma is taking good care of you. Yes, daddy. Please, can you get me a nice school over here? I really love it here. Sweetie, first of all, getting your school over there is a no-no. Grandma is not strong enough to take good care of you. Please. <sighs> okay, but I will have to discuss with your mom. All right? How is mommy? She's good. Mom is fine. I really, and uh, I noticed you haven't called her today. You better do that. I will do just that now. I love you and I miss you so much, sweetie. Take care of yourself. My regards to Grandma. Daddy, bye. I love you and I miss you. Yeah. After cooking and giving this man every style, he still refused to spend the night with me. <laughs> Lizzie, wait, I don't understand. Okay, you were expecting him to abandon his beautiful wife to spend the night with you. Lizzie, you must be a joker. Oh. Babes. I love Adams so much that I keep dreaming of forever with him. Can I ask you a question? Jenny, please, if it's preaching, just spare me. I'm not in the mood for that. But honestly, Adams <sighs> is my dream man. He is. Even the blind can see how much you love Adams. But let me ask, if Adams decides to pick and he chooses his wife, tell me, will you respect his decision? I've been preparing myself for a long time, getting my heart ready. I'll respect his decision. Because he's an adult and he knows exactly what he wants. It's okay. I understand. I just want you to be happy, that's all. If you're happy, I'm fine. Okay? I just love that man so much. I can't, I can't stop dreaming about him. I can't stop thinking about him. Anyways, your birthday is in three this time. So what's the plan? About that? Mm -hmm. I plan on celebrating with Adams. Adams again? Okay, so what about me? Oh, come on, baby girl. I, I want to do everything humanly possible to keep him for myself. So what, there's no room for you this whatever, year. Whatever, whatever. But I'll still send my gifts. No, wait, hold on. Are you jealous? Mm, me? Jealous over? Never, never, never. Are never. you sure? Never. <laughs> no. Okay. So. I'll still send my gifts. That one is a promise. Oh, you're a darling. Oh, Thank you. you. <laughs> you're the best. Just send my gifts. I will. I will. <laughs> I will. Adam. If this, if this is the forever that you promised me, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> Why can't you just? Why can't you just look beyond your lost Adam? Look beyond your lost and see what I am trying to do. Try to give you more children. Everything. For 
every single thing that you have done to me, Adam. I hate you. Not even in hating you, Adam. I still love you. After everything, I still love you. Good morning, my beautiful wife. Good morning, darling. I made something special for you. What did you cook? Something special. Why don't you find out? Aha, uh -huh, sandwich. Mm, your favorite, I know. <laughs> Thank you, baby. You're so sweet. What is it? Baby, I want to apologize for everything. I'm sorry. I know I've not been the best husband, but that, that only makes me human. I'm just a man. I'm trying. Please forgive me. I'm sorry for neglecting you. I promise to do better. Please. Adams, I don't know why your actions keep contradicting your words. You know, sometimes I, I I start to wonder what actually happened to the husband of my youth. I'm still here. I'm right here. Baby, I'm still here. And I'm sorry for everything. I'm really sorry. I want to do better. It's all right. Okay, and I really hope that this time you do what you say. Okay. So can I have my tea? Yes, please go ahead. Enjoy your <laughs> breakfast. By the way, I spoke with Mirabel. She says she wants a school close to grandma's. What do you think? Well, yes. Um, Mirabel was supposed to stay at her grandma's for two weeks or even more. You know, just to avail us some time to spend with ourselves alone. You see why I would choose you over every woman in the world? You're so sweet. You are even sweeter. <laughs> All right, baby, eat up. I'll be right back. Yeah, sure. I need to see Dr. Ken on appointment. I don't know if he's in. Okay, yes, he's in, and you're welcome. Okay, so can I go in to see him? Yes, you can. Thank Upstairs, you. thank you. Yes, please, thank you. Congratulations, Mrs. Jane. You're four weeks pregnant. Oh my God, I'm pregnant. Oh my God, oh my God. Dr. Ken, can I, can I please see this? Oh my god, I'm pregnant, Doctor! I am pregnant! I'm pregnant! Oh. I told you, there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you for every single thing. The efforts, the, 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 the test, everything. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's say I am doing my job. Once again, congratulations. <laughs> I'm happy that you're happy, okay? I can't wait for my husband to see you. Yeah, so definitely, you'll be happy. <laughs> Doctor, I need to be on my way right, now. Right, <laughs> Thank please. you so much. At least tell the receptionist to tell the nice person to come, please. Oh, okay. Thank you. 
Baby, I did not abandon you. My company has been pursuing a contract from the federal government for over a year now. And honestly, it's taken a toll on me. It's okay. I understand. Just that I miss you. I miss you so much. And I miss you too. Hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. Why don't you show me how much you miss daddy and give me some sugar? <laughs> yeah, I will. Baby. My birthday is coming up in two days time. Baby, I can't believe it's another year. In two days time? Mm-hmm. Interesting. What would you like? Mm -hmm. You know, why don't we talk about that after you give daddy some sugar first? Okay. Mm -hmm. After I give daddy some sugar? Then we can talk about anything you want. Okay. Mm -hmm. You promise? Mm -hmm. Promise. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Um, the anniversary is in two weeks. And I don't want to be disappointed. <laughs> yes, please, don't, don't even try to forget the flowers, okay? Yes. All right, I'm expecting you. will also use this opportunity to let him know that I'm pregnant. <laughs> I can't wait. I honestly can't wait. their anniversary and my birthday falls on the same day. Nice. Now let's see who Adams who choose. Yeah. Yeah. On my way, sir. Yeah, of course. Hey, my guy. I'll call you back. Bro, how far now? I do. Where would you go watch that match today now? Oh shit, man, I can't. I already promised Lizzie I'm coming over to her place. As you can see, I'm already Packed and ready to leave. My guy, the same Lizzie again. Guy, I really said I'm going to make it up to you. I'm, I'm sorry. Why don't you just listen to me and, and get rid of this girl? Bro, I'll make it up to you. We'll plan another time. Boys, boys, we're going to have a good time. And I need to hurry before she changes her mind. Okay, bro, I'm sorry about this. Next time, okay? No longer agreeing to the arrangement that we had. I told you, do not call me at night. You know I'm going to be with my wife. Only call me when I'm at work. I told you this. We had this arrangement. I am sorry I called. I didn't know what came over me. I was just missing you. And I can't sleep. Okay. I'm sorry I cannot be there for you when you need me. Tomorrow is going to be better. I will come to you. Okay? Please, I'm sorry I cannot be there. Just be patient, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, I'll talk to you later. Good night.
I really feel betrayed by Adam. You know, the way he looks me in the eye and lies to me. He's only protecting what he has, and you know that. Destiny, is it that he does not have an atom of respect for me? You know, different marriages pass through different challenges to test the strength of their love. This could be yours, you know. I just pray I don't fall into the pressure. Don't worry, you will overcome. Honestly, I pray so. My family and I will keep praying for you. Okay. Thank you very much. Don't you dare try the thing you just pulled yesterday. Don't you dare try it again. I will not tolerate it. I didn't know it's now a crime to call my man when I miss him. That's not what I'm talking about. Only call me during work hours, not when I'm with my family. And that's enough. Oh, are you trying to break my family? How can you say such a thing? Why will you say that? Even you know best. Okay, I'm sorry. I overstepped my boundaries. Listen to me, I love my wife and I do not plan on leaving her. Neither do I plan on getting a second wife. I hope you understand. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you. Babe, that's not what I mean. Babe. Shut the door behind you. Hey. My baby. Hey. How are you doing? Right. Yeah. What do you have? Um, is everything okay, babe? Touch on your back home early. Yeah, everything is okay. Why? Since when did coming home early become a bad thing? Huh? When is it a problem? It's a problem, babe. Because I cannot remember the last time you came home early. So yes, it is a problem. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do. Okay. I promise, henceforth, I will spend more time with you and Mirabel. I'll come back home early, okay? Hmm? That's what you always say. <laughs> Go and freshen up, okay? Let me see. See, there's no escaping you, huh? I'll be back. Right. It was baby. I can't wait to see the reaction on his face when he sees me like this. And I hope that this good news will make him smile, make him happy. Continue the party. No. Why? We yeah, you know our babies are going to be so angry. Can you just... I know they're going to be so beautiful. I can't wait for you to come here. <laughs> come here and you just oh, give me some of that sugar. I don't know what they're going to look like, our heavenly babies. You know you're naughty, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's just go to the living room, okay?
Maybe this is such a wild and fun night. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad I'm here. Mm. Mm. Oh, sorry, I missed that. Let's do that again. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I'm so glad to be here. I'm so glad you're here with me. Cheers to all the wild nights. You're naughty. <laughs> That's why I love you. <laughs> By the way, it's so unusual. What is unusual? I don't know, I haven't, I've never gotten a call or a text message from my wife literally all day, for hours. Um, baby, hmm? today is supposed to be all about me. And who says it isn't, my darling? Who says it isn't? Hmm? Mm. It's all about you, of course. Okay. But we're talking about my wife here, and it's very much unlike her not to text or call me. I think I just have to send her a message and let her know no, I want to be no, coming home. No, no. I want to be coming home on time to give us enough time to be together. Relax. But baby, since she hasn't called you, I know. don't you think it's for the best? I mean, you'll have enough time for us. Hmm? Okay. Let's make it. Oh my god. Everything okay? Oh my god. Baby? How could I have forgotten? Calm down, what is it? Today's my wedding anniversary. I completely forgot. I have to go. Is it baby? I have to go home. No, you're not serious. What do you mean I'm not serious? I have a wife I need to go and celebrate with. But you promised me that today's for me. Babe! <laughs> Adams! <laughs> It's all I have, it's all I have. Shot at hope, shot at trust. It's all I have, it's all I have. What will I ever do to make you love me the way I love you? What will I ever do to make you love me the way I love you? Promises you break, my heart you turn to pieces, but I'm ready to rebuild again. Promises you break, my heart you turn to pieces. But I'm ready to go again with you. With you. I'm ready to go again with you. With you.
sleepless nights, early morning, my life has been misery. Good morning to the most beautiful woman in the entire world. Good morning, good morning. I made you breakfast in bed, my darling. Wake up. Wake up, have a beautiful breakfast that I have made for you, my darling. Look at you. you slept with your makeup on. So beautiful. Good morning, Adam. Good morning. Do you need help? I'm okay. I hope you can forgive me for all the wrongs that I have done to you. For all the pains I have caused you this couple of months. Baby, I'm, I'm really sorry about last night. Something I really need to talk to you about. Please. I am not interested in whatever you have to say. Your food is served. than his wife. You all people should know that men are manipulative in nature. Maybe he was trying to make you feel good. That's all. No. I am not giving up on him. I must keep Adam for myself because I love him. What is wrong him. with you? What is wrong with you, Lizzie? Lizzie, what is wrong with you? Aren't you, aren't you tired of all this drama yet? Aren't you tired? Oh wait, you want his wife to come and beat you with acid before you wake up, huh? Before you wake up. You just told me that this man is not into you, right? It means he loves his wife. Give up! No. No. It's because that woman is still in the picture. Once she's out of the way, his heart will belong to me and me alone. Can't you see? She's the problem, not me, not Adams. She, she has to go. I love Lizzie, him. what are you saying? I love him, Jennifer. Is this what you're saying to console yourself? Lizzie, you're pathetic. I love him. Can't you see that I love him? I love that man.
Hey, baby. <laughs> how is my girl doing today? I am fine, mommy. How are you? Okay. And how is grandma? Grandma is fine. Mm -hmm. She cooked my favorite today. And what did you tell her? Thank you. Oh, that's my girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course we miss you. <laughs> I can't wait to have you back, my angel. Have you by any chance seen my laptop chart? Is that daddy? Yes, um, that's your daddy. Let me talk with him, please. Your daughter wants to talk to you. Hey, sweetie. What's up? Babe, it's been one week since you ruined my day. Yet no call or text from you. I've called you severally. You didn't pick nor return the calls. I've been very busy. With your wife, I guess. It seems she's becoming more important than me. I never said she was less important. Oh. Never. Okay. Adams. Do you really love me? to you. Babe, do you love me? She came visiting. So what is the problem? Because I know a visiting face when I see one. And what I saw was not one. She said I ruined her big day. Because I didn't return or answer any of her calls. But she's supposed to know to get to this point now. Or is she expecting you to be with her forever? Bro, right now this is the least of my problems. I just want to make up with my wife and start all over. So she's still not talking to you? And if you try to force a conversation? Bro, you know I'm not that kind of a man. I'd rather wait for her to be ready. When she's calmed down, she can talk to me. And if, she, if she's never calm, you'll not talk to her? She will. Everybody calms down eventually. So I'd rather just wait. All right. Say so, but I have to fix this, bro. What I know. I'll be in my office. All right. All right now. You said you wanted to talk to me about something. I'm ready to listen now. But please, I, I, I beg you, say the truth. Tell me the entire truth. Please.
Maybe I've been I'm so, I'm sorry, baby. That that was Edward. He just sent a message that it was an emergency. I, I love you very much. I'm so sorry about this, but I need to go now. When I get back, we can have this conversation. Go away. I love you. I'll be right back. What is it? You are the problem, Adams. Can't you see I'm addicted to you? I can't live without you. Lizzie. This is why you called me out here from the most important conversation I was about to have with my wife in years? What is wrong with you? Why is it always about her? Why is it always about her, Adams? Why? Why? What exactly does she have that I don't have? What does she give to you that I don't give you? Can't you see? Adams, can't you see that I'm in love with you? I love you so much. I do not love you. No, you don't mean that. I do not love you. I love my wife. She's the center of my world. And I will not allow you or anyone else to destroy what we have built together. You know, I was really stupid to think that I needed another child. I was so stupid. I don't even know what I was thinking. That I needed another child. What was I doing? I don't need another child, Lizzie. I just need time alone with my wife. Have a good day. You stupid, foolish man. You think you can use me and dump me like a piece of trash? You think I'm stupid like that thing you call a wife? I knew this day would come. I've always known this day would come because something kept telling me that you never loved me. All you wanted was a child. And because I excited you sexually, of course I'm not boring like that, your useless wife. You wanted a child. Guess what? I was never pregnant. Yes, I never miscarried. To think I'm gullible to be seen as a baby producing factory for couple who cannot bear a child. You are just stupid. You are a foolish man. I am not useless like that's your wife. Oh, perfect. Oh, wow. This would have been a perfect family meeting, right? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for everything. I have no excuse. I have no explanation for my irresponsibility. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I was desperate for a child. I was so desperate. I, I, I wasn't thinking straight and I allowed myself to be manipulated by Lizzie. Please forgive me, baby. I'm sorry. Please. after sessions in the hospital 
trying to bear you children. Instead, you were trying to have children with another woman. Because I didn't know what to do. Okay, I didn't know what to do. Okay, you, you said you were going to the doctor, but you were still taking the pills. What do you expect me to do? Not pills. The pregnancy prevention pills. You said you were going to the doctor, but you were still taking them. No! No, I wasn't taking any pill. Listen, I stopped taking those pills the very day I heard your mother complaining about having just one grandchild. Yes! The, 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 the pills you saw are from the old bags. Baby, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't. I didn't notice. Because you never talked to me. Because you never communicated. That's why. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. I'm, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive me. I, I wasn't aware. I thought you were. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so sorry, please forgive me. You broke me. And you broke every single thing inside of me. You shot at me, that's what you did. You broke me. You, you know, Adam. I arranged a surprise for you on our anniversary day. I organized a surprise for you, Anna, but you, you never showed up. Instead, you were in the hands of that woman. You were frolicking with another woman, Adam. That's what you did. You're right. Maybe you're right, and I'm sorry. And I swear to you, I will spend the rest of my life fixing my wrongs. I promise you, this will never happen again. Just give me a chance, please. You broke me. Yes. Adam, you broke everything. What you did, you, you shot at me, you, you, you let me confused and I don't know what to do. You broke me. And I promise I'll do everything I can to put it back, <laughs> to fix your heart and to make sure that everything comes back the way it was. Just give me another chance, baby. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, please. I didn't know. I didn't know. Just give me another chance, please. What about the children? I still can't give you more. Baby, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore. I don't care. A child is a child, male or female. Mirabel is enough. It's okay. I think I'd prefer a male child this time. What? Baby, what are you saying? Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? <laughs> Baby, why didn't you tell me? Well, that was what I was going to tell you on the day of our anniversary, but you never showed up. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I promise to always be there for you. I promise. To always be there for you. Please forgive me, baby. Please. 
Forgive, forgive me for everything. I promise I, I'm going to do right. Just give me a chance. <laughs> Baby, I'm so excited. I'm excited too. <laughs> Come here. <sighs> I'm so sorry, baby. I love you so much. Broken hearts, broken dreams. It's all I have. It's all I have. Shot at hope, shot at trust. It's all I have. It's all I have. What will I ever do to make you love me the way I love you? What will I ever do to make you love me the way I love you? Promises you break, my heart you turn to pieces. But I'm ready to rebuild again Promises you break My heart you turn to pieces But I'm ready to go again With you With you I'm ready to go again with you with you sleepless nights early morning my life has been a misery coast to coast Life is boring My life has been a misery But I'm ready to do all it takes To make you come back to me To make you come back to me I am ready to do all it takes To make you come back to me to make you come back, yeah. What will I ever do to make you love me the way I love you? What will I ever do to make you love me 